Glass bottle versus pet bottle. Oxidization test that you asked for. Let's just kick it. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. I do stupid experiments so you don't have to here on YouTube. This time I left the beer for eight weeks after bottling. I bottled with the uh, eye tap and tried to uh, purge as good as possible. If you haven't looked at my other bottling experiment oxidization videos, I will of course link down below to them with a lot of other great links for you to click. So this was placed at room temp and I got some questions earlier during the uh, bottle experiments. Why don't I put it in the fridge? Wouldn't that make the beer last longer? This is about getting oxidized beer but not trying to get it oxidized but of course if you chill your beer down if you keep it cold you will slow down the oxidization process also if you try to get as most air out of possible from your bottles and of course if you have a good practice for fermenting beer and transferring all of that you can check all my fermentation under pressure videos and fermentation under pressure pressurized fermentation Q&A videos all oh, links down below amazing eight weeks at room temperature let's see if you can sense some difference we're gonna check for carbonation color aroma and taste what result do you think we will have here let me know down in the comments it's carbonated this is the shake and brew citra shake and brew citra IPA yes link to that one also Okay, let's just try to make an epic pour here. This is oxidized as... This is good content. This has clearly oxidized after eight weeks in the pet bottle. Okay. This is really bad. Let's check the glass bottle. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. We have a winner already. Pet bottles sucks, but if we aren't leaving them for eight weeks, I have had some really good results with pet bottles. But look at them. Can you see the difference? This is even lighter in color than you see it, but you can see that major, major difference. Woo. Okay, I want to start with aroma. It smells different, all right. This is like sharper. This is really hard, but this smells more fresh. And this smells different, but I have some hard time getting my words straight. Okay, let's taste it. Go for this one first. Really nice. It ain't as nice as 
it was from the keg, leaving it for eight weeks. It has lost some flavors, I think. I don't have any left in the keg. Can't, can't try that. I think we have lost some flavors. <sighs> Why am I doing this? So you don't have to. Cheers. It's not as bad as it looks, but much more flavor, much more like fruitier. This is much more like stale. I normally say that I get like a jammy cardboard. I don't say cardboard, I say like strawberry jam. I, I don't get that today, but I do get Did I just draw a little bit? Fuck. There's something nasty when you drink with more, like, don't like it. Pet bottles are amazing for shipping. They uh, can really handle the postman treatment. But for long storage, I would go with glass bottles for sure. If you want to see how I brewed this beer, super simple, under pressure, so low oxygen, go and check the Shake and Citra IPA video. If that's not your cup of tea, maybe this video will fit you better. Cheers and thanks for watching. Could click any one of these buttons. Hello.